take your mind to the place where the Holy Spirit resides. And then there you will find, you will see the presence of God. Every day we wake up is that opportunity to renew our minds, to see what God has in store for us. But there are many moments that we feel as if we are alone. And in those moments when we feel as if we are all alone, that is when God has the most time with us. It is up to us to utilize and recognize that time when we are alone. It's not a time to reflect and feel depressed. It is a time to speak to God because God has you consecrated. God has you isolated. God has you unavailable. Unavailable so that you may spend time with God. The Holy Spirit is here to give you countenance, to give you spiritual endowment while you are here on this earth. Are you paying attention to the signs that the Holy Spirit is providing you? Or are you caught up in what the world has for you? Don't get lost in the rapture of the world. Stand strong and receive the first resurrection. Do not think that your time here on this earth is for nothing or for nothing. Your time here on this earth is for all things and everyone. We have to look at it and see the quality of life that we are choosing to live. We have to look at it from the perspective of the next because God wants us to realize that we are all one race God's race the human race the people that you have battles with that is wrong because the Lord says the battle is not ours it is the Lord's and that we struggle not against flesh and blood it is not the people in your life that you struggle with. We struggle against principalities. It is the spirit within, the thoughts, and the mind frame of the people, which is the spirit. The battle is the Lord's, and we are servants on the field for the Lord. We are servants, we are hosts for the Lord. Our job is to seat each other at the table of the wedding of Jesus because we are there we have to stay strong we have to encourage one another we have to believe with all of our hearts that we can do much better and during this time of isolation it is your time to see and realize that you can do much better you can have that focus that you desire to have you can have a linear focus as long as you keep your eyes on the Lord don't complain don't murmur and let all that evil out of your heart let all that anger and aggression go for it is heavy and the Holy Spirit is light and lives forever there is no death within the Holy Spirit. There is only life. For God is living. And God brings the living word. Encourage the next person today. Encourage yourself today. Fear not. And don't look at this isolation as a moment of alienation. Because you are not alienated. You are not alone. You were made in the image of God, so therefore God is inside of you, outside of you, and within everything that you touch and all that you do. Stay encouraged. Stay uplifted in the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. And remember, keep God first place.